When I was presented with the textiles from great women, I think I was initially drawn to the ones from Marawi, and that's the one I'm wearing now. What I would like to do is also to remain true to my personal aesthetic. I love layering. I'm a more is more person, so I get their local weaves. I mix it with the fabrics that I source internationally. I put it together and I do my signature embroidery, which is what you see now in the sweater I'm wearing. I really want to showcase like the modern Filipina isn't afraid to be bold because that's what I think my designs are, no? Bold, colorful, strong. So, Patiri is a co-creation hub for designers and makers in the shoe industry. So, we want to be able to foster the new generation footwear creatives uh, so that we can pass on the know-how and wisdom of our very best artisans in Marikina. This one is called Lala Patos. Lala because in Marikina speak, it means weaving or habi. We're using pre-consumed snack foil with leather. So it, it's interwoven. This one is called Charito. My dad wanted to bring back the technique that uh, our family popularized back in the 1950s. It's called skin stitching. So, tinatahi siya while on the shulas or while it's being made on the mold. And here, we're using a fabric. This fabric is an excess from an interior design house. The Marikina shoe industry, I'm very excited about it. It's very vibrant now more interests are coming in. The young folks are also leading and becoming movers themselves. Uh, we're collaborative. We're working together towards our dreams for Marikina. This year, definitely, it's filled with the Bagobo community. Two years ago, we, we got the grant, uh, the first uh, award for Heart of Pino. So it's a continuous process. We're showing a simple vest attire this year. So this is the continuation of the project. Now they have their Bagobo house there, actually, uh, the real Davao. Um, that would actually showcase the product of Bagobo na that they can sell in their locality. So kung maging tourist destination sa Davao, kakaroon sila ng sarili ng sinasabi nila. So yung mga ladies natin na nagbibig, what they were provided, uh, good lighting system sa mga bawat bahay nila. They were also given sewing machines. Uh, uh, Adipino also provided financially very simple. It's nice because you're uh, keeping alive the traditions of our culture. If we didn't have this movement, it would just die naturally, right? Uh, but also, I mean, hopefully, we also modernize it. We also give people uh, options that they'll say that if we're wearing traditional weaves, it doesn't look so folksy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look so souvenir. Yeah. So we want to take it to the next level. And we're working with indigenous community. They're indigenous, but also marginalized. So we need to say they have you know, lesser access to healthcare, to education, to you know basic needs. Mostly because also of their area where, where they live. Working with them is also realizing that those needs should be met. And the beauty here is uh, there's this collaboration of, you know, creating beautiful products and also answering all to all those social problems. So for me, that's the biggest value that, that I, I treasure with collaborating with indigenous communities. For this year's uh, Heartifino, I created um, uh, a mini handbag. Uh, it's made of tikog. Uh, okay. Tikog fiber from Bicol. Tikog is a grass. Uh, this is a very abundant to the in different area in the Philippines. This specific bag are uh, hand woven by uh, women and our other artisans from Bicol. The pieces uh, are inspired by uh, abstract art of the masters. So the base of the bag is made of tikog serve as the canvas and uh, the indigenous fabrics all over the, from all over the Philippines highlighting of course the hablon from from uh, from Visayas was used as the centerpieces. I'm showing a new line of uh, my piñas. Same concept of uh, ready to wear, meaning it is of relevant and contemporary use. It looks bohemian, 
So it's something uh, easy to wear. Uh, this is one of my pina blouses. Change your accessories and it could easily be an evening wear. Very easy to dress up, very easy to dress down. It's the fabric from Panay, which is the hablon. It's another look of a hablon. We're doing a 100% Philippine cotton. My top, you can wear it in uh, daytime or even in nighttime. The hablon before, it's a polyester. But now, we are promoting this uh, Philippine cotton, so which is friendly to, to the Philippine uh, climate. For the hablon, we are working with uh, the weavers of Uton. Usually, when I create a design of a fabric, of course, it will start with the, with the material first. The great women who designs the fabric, we reinterpret it into our own uh, aesthetic as a designer. When you say hablon, kasi, it's the weaving, the technique of the weaving. So it's the root word of habol, which means to weave. So the usual hablon is just plain, but this time it's another, looks really modern. So I incorporated it into a modern lace. My style, kasi usually it's more of the embroideries, it's the detail. This year, we are actually doing a Filipino livelihood theme. So we work on that component. And um, we always have to use Filipino craftsmanship. Like for example, the tambourine and then the granulation techniques, we have to incorporate it in our designs. So it has to have that Filipino aspect, but then it can be modern, it can be relatable and relevant in today's time. One series that is um, notable with us is we have a collection that's called Mga Habi. It's actually um, a salute, a dedication to women weavers of Barong, women weavers of um, fabric that a lot of our fellow Artifino exhibitors sell. Whatever they craft in the Barong, we try to interpret it in jewelry form. In jewelry form. Great Women is a brand platform that looks at supporting women enterprises in a supply chain direction. When I say this, I mean that it's uh, from the bottom of the pyramid all the way up to market access. And we're looking towards a niche specialty and a more global market. Uh, what we do is we focus on the textile supply chain uh, for at least the brand GW for great women. The textile supply chain in the country is non-existent. So what we've tried to do is from the very bottom of the pyramid, the kinds of fibers we do and use, the weavers' spaces, how they weave, the technicalities, the lives of our women weavers, bringing it up to value add towards market, creating products with our designers, making sure our textiles get to the designers, and then finally out to a conscious consumer. We need to find correct partners who are aligned with the directions that we stand for. And basically, these are revitalizing heritage. We know that if culture must continue, it must slowly revitalize. It cannot be fixed.